Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to show you today and this has been sent to me from the wonderful people at ColourfulDIYCraft.com. They asked me if I would like some more products to show my channel. I said yes, of course. And uh, yeah, so these are what I've got. So we'll have a look at those in a second. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you a couple of my completions. Um, if you've watched my giveaway, then you possibly will have already seen the little CAT. Millie is in the room with me, so I don't want to be saying that word out loud, because otherwise we might have a bit of a woofing session going on. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I've done this one, which I absolutely love. Yep, so as I say, I will be doing a kitting down and a full completion review on these, but I just thought you might like to see them before I show you the next ones. And I did get this hanging one done as well. Uh, this one will need sealing before uh, I put it up on the wall but they've all come out really really well so I'm always going to say yes to their new products because the ones I've done have been wonderful and I've thoroughly enjoyed doing them okay and um, there are some special offers on at the moment uh, I do have a colourful DIY craft discount code as well so if when you're going through checkout you want to use the Liz 5 off you'll get 5% discount and um, it's not an affiliate code so I don't get anything for you using it it is just literally a thank you from the company um, and a thank you from me for watching and subscribing to the channel and obviously it lets them know if you're buying things using my code that you've been watching my videos as well so win-win yay okay and I have printed this out now so that I don't forget to let you know <laughs> but also if you're quick um, and I'll just get this video in before the end of February. From the 1st to the 29th of February, there is 15% off site-wide. So do go and check that out. And if you spend over $69, you don't get free shipping. So yay, we all like free and we all like money off. So excellent. Right, let me move these to one side. And I will show you what we've got in our new pack. Yay. Okay, so let's see what we got this time. This one's quite a bigger painting and it's bursting out of the bag, ready to get out. So, ooh, any clues, any clues? And then we have a mystery packet. Okay. Right, so what's in the mystery pack? I'm actually filming today without the overhead light on and just with the light coming in from the window. So I'm going to see how dark this video is. I'm hoping it's okay rather than getting glare on things. So, ooh, ooh. So I was going to say let's have a look at the mystery packet first, but I've got a funny feeling that that doesn't feel very good. Oh dear. So this is um, a project and it's come in a bag, unfortunately, rather than a box. So let's have a look and see. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Oh heck. Right, so we have a pen, boat and wax, our standard little toolkit and yeah it's just got a little bit squished as it's come through the post so let's have a look we're all oh look hot pink hot pink yay special drill gems and a lovely thick chain okay right let me just unlock uh, this one sorry just to let me untie this one okay come on chain it's a nice Thick link chain look and the lobster claw clasps on the end so nice and easy to use which is what we like and it looks like a good length but oh dear this is actually um an acrylic single-sided diamond art hanging pendant summer flowers but unfortunately it's uh, lost the battle as it's come through the post so let's see if we can just undo it a little bit and uh, get it put back together just a little bit um yeah it looks like it's unfortunately snapped in a couple of places oh dear i will get in touch with them and let them know um i say they are better really if they come in boxes it looks like it's the back cover that uh, the dust cover that's keeping it all together don't know whether to try and keep that on or not we'll have a look i think once to be honest i think once that's off it's off so let's 
let's uh, just take that off. That's got stuck to there. So that belongs on there. Okay, it is exceptionally pretty. There are four of these, a full set of four. So I am intending getting the full set of four. Oh, right, it's a nice clean break there. So that's going to easily just stick back together there. Okay. Yeah, it's just had a little bit of an unfortunate accident coming through. These things happen, as I've always said. It's how a company deals with things like this rather than actually um, the fact that this has happened. You know, it can happen to any company at any time. So how does that go on there then? That... That looks as though that needs to be a little bit higher up than that. And it's just squashed on on itself. Okay, I think I am going to have to take the backing off this one as well so that I can see where all the pieces go. Yeah, it's uh, very, very sad. Oops, that's just got stuck a bit on there. So we have unfortunately got quite a few little breaks in this one. Uh, I will be able to repair it. I mean, obviously, the company are sending these to me uh, free of charge. So, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, I want another one. Uh, obviously, you would if you got one like this. Um, but I will get in touch with them uh, and let them know and let them know that probably it's better off if they do put them in boxes or something um, when they're posted rather than just... Uh, let me just see if I can get that on top of there. Okay, so we have got it back together how it should go. This possibly, the way it's sort of come, I'm wondering if it's been folded up in the post. You know, somebody's tried to get it through my letterbox or something. Um, because it, it does feel as though it's been scrunched up rather than being in that jiffy bag. Because usually, you know, it's a good jiffy bag. It, they usually can protect them. Boxes obviously are better because it, then it keeps it straighter and it lets the person know that's uh, handling it, that it's a bit more rigid. But yeah, it's all gone back together uh, lovely. But these are gorgeous and they just hang up. And I just think uh, I'm going to be doing my themes. I've got my spring theme at the moment. Uh, for whatever reason, I've not ordered the spring one, so I'll have to get that one. Uh, so it'll be spring, summer, autumn and winter. And they can just go in amongst, you know, if I've not got, say, Easter um, and then coming up to sort of Halloween is the next big thing and summer. So I want to, you know, make a summer display with lots of flowers. And this has got lots of um, colours on it. Looking at these special drills with the hot pink, there is lots of colours on there. So it's going to look really, really pretty. And yeah, it's all very, very clear that even though the writing is in cursive, that summer really does stand out because it's big. And yeah, I just want to get these done and get them out. It does say it is a shame that it has come broke. But again, these things happen. So, I mean, it, as I say, it could have even been the carrier. It could have been the post whatever but i will just pop this one back together and uh, yeah once the gems are on it i won't be able to see it anyway it will just all hang up together so that's fine somebody did mention to me actually you can get uh, like clear yeah. film that you can use on the back of things if they do snap so i'm gonna get myself some of that as well um yeah but it is very very pretty and the price of this one um, was $7.65, which works out to a couple of pence over £6 um, if you're looking for British money. So, yeah, excellent. But so I will be getting all of them. Let's see, it has, uh, yeah, it's just clean bricks. Somebody's just squished it a little bit. Never mind. Anyway, let's have a look at these drills. As I say, we've got hot pink, so I can forgive it anything. <laughs> so, oh. We have one, two, three, oh, <laughs> one, two, three, V, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different gems and colours. We only have three crystals and the rest are specials. Ooh, I love my specials. So, oh, look at that lovely clear crystal drills, no dust or anything in those. Then we've got like this, it's like a very deep sort of sagey green colour. Very nice. Mm. So I think that's going to be on some of the leaves. And then this little bit of this very, very dark, like midnight blue colour. Ooh. And then the specials. We have some blue teardrops, some gorgeous like midnight blue teardrops. We have some hot 
pink round with an iridescent coating on. So we're getting lots of colour in those. Yay! We've got some hot pink teardrops with an iridescent coating on. Oh, this is just for me. And then we've got some paler pink ones with an iridescent coating on. And then some little rounds with... Oh, no, there's no iridescent coating on those, but they have got facets. So, yay. So I think we're going to be... All the flowers are going to be pale pink and hot pink with a few little blue ones. Oh, this hot pink and this blue really go lovely together. And then the middles of the flowers are going to be the little gold ones. Okay, so number one. Oh, so the summer name in the middle is actually going to be the silver clear crystals. So that's really going to pop and stand out. And with that little sort of pale greeny blue background, it'll just give it that extra uh, little bit of colour there as well to reflect off. Lovely. All right, can't wait to get this one done. So let's measure this chain and see how long we are. Uh, take measure up there. Yay. So I'll do it from end to end. So stretch it out fully. So it is 17 and three quarter inches, which is 45 centimetres. So it's a nice length. The size of the wreath is roughly 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. And I would think it's the same the other way. As you can see, uh, it is holding itself together now. I've put it back together. So yeah, 25 centimetres. So it's a nice round shape, but very pretty. Nice to hang in a window or something and let the sun shine through with all those colours on the front. Yay! Right, let me put that chain in with the crystal and we'll have a look at the canvas. Okay, pop over there, Summer. Actually, that'd be quite nice if somebody's got the name Summer. I know some little girls are called Summer, so yeah, they could have their own name. <laughs> right, now then. Oh, I think this one's quite big, so let me just pop this one out the way if I can pick it up. Go over that right. So, it's funny really, unfortunately uh, the summer sign is the one that came broken and uh, this is the one that was fighting to get out the packet. <laughs> Maybe this one had a fight with that one. Mm. You never know what happens in those packets, they've come a long way. Right, so let's have a look at this one. So if you've been with me a while, you'll know that I love my special drill canvases and I particularly love the bigger size ones. Uh, so thank you for coming back. If you're new to the channel, hello. Thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoy it and I hope you'll subscribe and stay with us. So let us see what this one is. It is 40 by 50 and it is this fantastic pair of dragons. Look at this, the gorgeous blue colours on it. Another one for Paula. <laughs> okay, pen, butt and wax. Right, sorry, Paula um, is uh, a lovely lady that, that has been with me for quite a while. And uh, yet she is an actual blue girl, whereas I'm a pink girl. So yeah, she doesn't like pink. <laughs> so... <laughs> Whenever I come across anything blue, I like to let Paula know it's blue. <laughs> okay, we are all special drill crystals, but isn't this fabulous? I say it's a bigger canvas. I am loving the bigger canvases because they really are. I do make a statement. They really are sort of impactful when you get them on the wall. Okay, so, oh, and it's only seven different colours as well. We are in the Chinese Year of the Dragon, so it's very appropriate for this year. I thought I would, I would, I thought I'd better get some dragons, and uh, yeah, this one just really thought, wow, the just the impact of having it bigger. I think if it was a bit smaller, you wouldn't get the effect of those two dragons. They are just so powerful and strong looking but not overly scary you know some dragons can be a little bit scary but they are gorgeous look at that it's got a little bit squished 
so it just needs flattening under something heavy and um, either in a, a folder under books or something or some people put them in a folder under a mattress oh it's trying to get away from me and that will just get rid of those creases if it doesn't just um try uh, ironing on the back of it put a cloth on it and iron on the back and um, obviously test your iron don't just go straight into the middle and do it before you put the gems on as well <laughs> but oh, I love that it's like a stained glass style effect in a big oval so your eyes are drawn into the middle because of the darker colors in the background but it's all these gorgeous greens and blues and it looks like we may get a little bit of orange we'll have a look at the drills when we get them but yeah i think they're actually um possibly in love or flirting with each other because they're like very close together out there and that's quite a caring kind of stance they're definitely not fighting but possibly they didn't like the summer sign and maybe just had to go at the summer sign as it was coming along <laughs> maybe they didn't want to share the bag with somebody else who knows but this is wonderful and yeah i love doing the big special drill ones because they're quite um quickish to do there are quite a lot of drills on this and obviously it's the bigger size so it will take uh, that little bit longer to do but you are going to get all that color and sparkle wow oh i'm quite i'm just trying to think now where i'm going to put this one because it's a definite going on the wall one and the 40 by 50 size is a nice size um, for your frames as well. So if you're looking for a good sort of reasonably priced frame, then uh, yeah, these are a good sort of standard size to get frames for. In fact, I may even actually have a frame that is this size. So we are 35 centimetres, which is 13 and three quarter inches that way. And then the actual length of it is, uh, I'm going to say 45 centimetres because it's a little bit um, rooked up. Oh, that's better. If it's absolutely flat, yeah, 45 centimetres, which is about 17 and three quarter inches. So, yeah, if you get a 40 by 50 frame, then uh, you'll just have that little bit of edging. And I would suggest possibly just put in black around the edge of this one if you are putting it into a frame um or maybe gold mm, it's one to have a play about with i think because maybe gold would just give that black that little bit a little bit of a lift on the edge but then we don't want to detract from the middle so i will definitely be having a play about with this one uh, when i frame it i may even do it on camera um so that you can see me having a bit of a play wow that is gorgeous i just love like the s shape of them together so impactful okay let's have a look at these gems and see what colors we got oh i can see a red and a purple and a lovely greeny color but yeah with it only being like the seven colors it's really going to sort of showcase the actual design and the dragons rather than having lots of too well having too many colors and too much sparkle to take away from the actual gorgeous dragons there they are wonderful look at their faces okay sorry something's just fallen over in the craft room again Ooh! never quite work out why things just like to fall over when i'm in my craft room it must be because i'm disturbing stuff as i'm going along <laughs> I'm disturbing. Yeah, I'm sure that's been said about me a few times. <laughs> so actually there isn't an orange in it. So we are uh, this lovely dark red colour. Um, actually, that is showing up very bright on camera. But that is quite a dark red, which would be gorgeous. And then this lovely gold colour. Really like a bright, deep gold. And then we have again a deep purple. They've got to be sort of gothic colours, I suppose. Um, it's quite a, yeah, dragons are quite a gothic image, aren't they? Uh, she says as we then go on to an aqua blue. <laughs> but I think that's going to be all the background window. We then have this gorgeous, it's like a, a jadey type green. Lovely colour, lovely tone to that. 
and then there are only two specials which is surprising because there is quite a lot of coverage on this so it's just the dragon's wings so we are going to have purple purple marquees on one side and the blue the aqua blue color on the other so i'm guessing yeah um so this one actually although it looks sort of browns and oranges is actually going to be the deep purple um color on the teardrop uh, oh, teardrops there are marquees liz on the marquees and this one obviously is the blue you can see this is the blue color so that's quite surprising so it'll be interesting to see how this comes out but yeah, I mean, to be fair, once you get all the gems on a canvas and with the background colour as well, they do tend to blend in more. And uh, yeah, colours can look very different to the colours in the packets as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. It looks superb. Wow. Oh, I could just sit and look at this one all day. But I can't do that because I want to crack on and get it done. <laughs> Okay, so huge thank you, Colourful DIY Craft. Uh, unfortunately, we did start off with a little bit of an unfortunate incident um, with our summer sign, but it is very, very pretty. And I will definitely be getting the other three in the set so that we can carry on with that one with its little chain as well. It has some hot pink colours on it, so yay! And then something very different for me, um, sort of a gothic -y style. Uh, not the cute and cuddly that I normally go for, but as I said, it is Year of the Dragon, so I did feel as though I needed to get a dragon, and I just love this picture. It's actually a little bit like a dragon egg shape, isn't it? Because dragons hatch from eggs, don't they? Mmm. Yeah, loving that one, so can't wait to get that one done. Okay, uh, don't forget to check out Colourful DIY Craft for their special offers and my discount code as well. All the details will be down below. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.